Hey guys, what's up? I am Ansel Shah from Tech Rampage channel and today I have brought to you the working of infrared touch screens. The last one in our touch screen series. So, I have kept my word and I hope you like the video. Let's get into it. So, what are infrared touch screens? They are made up of glass from both the top and the bottom. They are the touch screens which are based on light beam interruption technology. Well, this touch screen's working is very easy to understand. So just don't worry. Therefore, what happens is that there are LEDs placed on both the horizontal and vertical sides of the screen. And for both the sides of LEDs, light sensors are placed right in front of them on the exact opposite side of the diodes. So, when the device is turned on, this LED start emitting light and the sensor start to detect this. When you touch the screen however, beams of light break and the sensors corresponding to that LED does not receive light and this change is detected by them. Here interestingly, two beams of light break down through one touch, one from the horizontal set and the other from the vertical set. Hence, the touch makes two sensors stop receiving light. This provides X and Y coordinates for the screen which is determined by the processor and lastly the action specified is performed. That's it and surprisingly this was all that was needed for infrared touchscreen to work. Now let's talk about applications of this touchscreen, large displays, some touchscreen watches etc. Advantages include can be used with gloved or wet fingers, highly durable and suitable for large panels. Disadvantages include lower resolutions, slow response times and cannot stop foreign objects from making changes like house flies, mud etc. And that's it for today guys. I hope you liked the video. It was short and sweet I guess. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share my videos. You could also follow me on Twitter. The name of the page will be in the description below. And stay tuned for upcoming updates. Bye bye.